All right, welcome back to Daytime Tri-Cities. Of course, live this morning at the Blackthorn Club at the Ridges, and we are now joined by their executive chef, James Allen. It's great to be here on your home turf. Yo, yeah, well, thanks for having me on. Yeah, so. you've been to the studio several times, so today we're checking it out right here. Beautiful scenery behind us. It's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. And you're making a soup, which I say a soup, and it's actually the title of the soup is about this long. So. What are we making this morning? Uh, we're making a roasted butternut squash and pumpkin soup topped with roasted butternut squash and pumpkin seeds with chorizo. I love it. <laughs> and using all the beautiful flavors of fall, you know, the pumpkins and the squash, and those are some of the things, because I know you're all about getting as much fresh produce as you can. Yeah, and soup should really fit the weather. And it's a little chilly, so this is a perfect soup to go with it. He's going to warm us all up. OK, where do we get started? All right, so butternut squash. If you've never seen it, it's a great Love. little vegetable. And then pie pumpkins. You don't want to use the big one that you're going to carve, you know, your jack-o'-lantern and all that. Nice, small, it's really sweet, uh, great for pumpkin pies okay. and for soups. Nice. Uh, fun fact, Libby canned pumpkin is actually not pumpkin. It's butternut squash. What? Yeah. So uh, USDA allows like a really loose definition of pumpkin. And so you're not actually getting this pumpkin. in your pie pumpkin pie filling. That is really so, interesting. That's why you should go get fresh. We got lots of farms around here. Uh, so go and get the, the pie. Yeah, you, you've got a pumpkin farm literally. Farm right over here that's doing all these great pumpkins. Yeah, Sunset View is great. Yeah. We've brought on their corn, their okra, uh, lots of produce from them this year. Very cool. So all it is is just cut it down like that. And then this guy, you'll see are the seeds inside. Uh huh. So we're going to scoop those out, soak them in some water. Same thing with the pumpkin. You'll cut it, scoop it out, soak it in water, get all that pulp off, uh, and I'll show you how to roast the seeds later. And you're using the butternut squash, and that's a pretty small one. Are those better than, because I've seen them pretty big Yeah, as you well. can get you really won't... big and get really small. The smaller are going to have a more intense flavor. Okay. So the larger the vegetable, the more water it's taken on, uh -huh. which means water doesn't really have flavor. Yeah. So if you can find a nice small vegetable, you're going to get a lot better flavor. Okay. But all you do, you just kind of cut the outside off. You can peel it if you want to, but it's easier just doing it this way. We use butternut squash quite a bit. It's really versatile, easy to roast and mm -hmm. throw it in the oven. And So what I like to do, too, is even grate it, and you can make a butternut squash risotto out of it. Ooh. Yeah. Um, really good. Yeah, so all you're going to do is just dice it up. Sorry, this table's really low. <laughs> Not used to it, right? A little bit different. <laughs> And then what you do is you wind up with something like this, and we're okay. going to toss it with a bunch of great uh, fall flavors. So cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, a little crushed red pepper. So throw all that okay. in the bowl. So we're going to start with the... So that's our butternut squash. Okay. Then and we've got, got some extra virgin olive oil. Nice. Give it a nice flavor, help get all those flavors surrounding. Okay. Some dried thyme. Ooh, nice. A little little uh, cinnamon. cinnamon. That's nutmeg. All spice uh -huh. and a little crushed red pepper because it's cold. You want to be heated up a little bit. So we're going to like toss that. all that. Spread it out onto this guy. Okay. And then you just throw that in the oven and roast them off until it gets really soft. And then when we come back, we're going to do the, I'm going to bring all the soup together. So this is one of the prep items. Very nice. Very nice. Chef James Allen, thanks so much for joining us today. Look forward to pulling this soup all together and showing and tasting that finished product. If you would like more information on the dining here at the Blackthorn Club at the Ridges, you can go to the website and check it out. Stop by. Wonderful, wonderful cuisine.